everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a what is in my camera bag video. And I'm super excited about this because I love watching these videos. I'm pretty sure Shameless Maya was the first person that I saw to do this video. And then I kept watching them. I think they're so interesting. I think camera stuff and like different um, types of cameras, lenses, stuff like that is really interesting. So I decided I was going to show you what is in my camera bag. I got this for Christmas. If you saw my Christmas haul. And yeah, I'm just going to show you everything that's inside and how I organize all this stuff. So without further ado. Let's get started. Okay, so this bag is from Amazon. Like I said, I got it for Christmas, but I believe it's around $30, so it's a pretty good price, and it's supposed to be water resistant, which is also really nice. And so on the side, it just has this little, like, almost like a water bottle compartment on a backpack, and so I just put my little Gorilla Pod. It just has these, like, bendy legs, which is really nice. So I just put my little tripod here, which I also sometimes use for vlogging or when I'm doing, like, makeup videos, and it has a similar thing on this side. Um, and then it just has these straps, and it's just very nice. It's a backpack rather than, like, um, like an over-the-shoulder bag just because I had one of those and it didn't carry very much stuff. All right, so now let's dive in. So this is what it looks like, and I really like the red. Red is one of my favorite colors. I don't know if you can tell. Hopefully it isn't like clashing horribly with this um, color, but... So basically, right here, there are these two little zipper compartments, and so in the bottom one, I just have a little CD, because if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that if you, like, have it hit the light perfectly, it just has these, like, rainbow rays you can put on your face or on different objects, and it just looks really cool, so it's sort of just like a little prop, I guess you could say, and then up top, I just have some little things, so I have, have a little black pen, which is just nice. Um, I have this, it's like a USB that has a micro and like macro, I guess, US uh, SD card slot thing, so it's sort of just like an adapter. Then I have this little carabiner, just in case I would need it for any reason. I have this like European adapter, I believe, and then this is my old SD card case, but I think it could be nice for just... I don't know. I just think it's better to be over-prepared than under-prepared. I guess we'll start off in this compartment. I just have my knockoff GoPro. I just call my GoPro because it's a lot easier than saying like knockoff GoPro, but it's from Amazon. Again, I will try to link all this stuff down below. It is an 8-man, and it shoots in 1080, which is pretty great. Um, and I love this. It also has a little like viewing screen, which some GoPros don't even have. And I took it to Costa Rica. It was amazing. And then this is a little waterproof case that obviously I need to like put it in there if I want to take it to the pool or the beach or whatever. And then for those of you who have a GoPro, you just know how important these little, like, screws are. Because basically if you want to attach it to anything, you need these. Um, and then I just have this, which is honestly something that I asked for Christmas. And I'm so excited that I got because it is just a memory card holder. Because I lose my memory cards all the time. It's honestly so bad. I, like, freak out because I can't find them. And they're in the most random spots because they're just so small. So it is just red and black. And it's from Amazon. And it has a little place for micro USB. Or I keep saying USBs micro SD cards and like the regular size SD cards. Then I have this cute little camera strap and right now I have like the actual like um, Canon strap on right now just because I put it on super quickly. But I think this is super cute. And I just have this little thing that came with my last camera. Um, it was like in a Polaroid set and it just has these like colored um, lens things. So like this one's obviously purple and there's ones that are like I don't know, just like different colors for different tints and, I, tints, and I feel like sometimes it could be fun if I'm doing like a little photo shoot or whatever, I just feel like it's better, again, to be over-prepared than under-prepared. Next I have this, which actually came with a bag, and it is just like a little, almost like a little jacket for your bag, which I think is so nice, because it's sort of just like another layer of like being waterproof, um, depending on where you're going, whether it's a hike or like in the city, whatever, I just think it's nice to have. And then I have three different cords. That this is a HDMI to micro USB, I believe. This is another micro USB thing. I think this is micro, yeah. And then I have another little cord. I don't know, just a bunch of cords just because they're always important to have. And then I just have this little bag of AA and AAA batteries. Just, I feel like sometimes it's just nice to have and you never know when you're going to need them for any situation. And then I just have this Precision Design Light, which can sometimes be nice like if it's night and like vlogging or whatever the case may be. This is what it looks like. Hopefully I'm not blinding you. But it's honestly a pretty great light and I can't turn off three fully charged camera batteries for my Canon this battery actually came with the camera I think it came with one or two and then these are all extra ones just because sometimes what happens is I'm filming like probably right now and my camera is about to die and I don't want that to happen so it's just nice to have a bunch and I usually put also in my camera battery charger but right now that is plugged in but I can just set that in any little compartment when I'm like traveling for good then I have this little camera case, and again, it has a carabiner. I feel like these are nice to hook onto backpacks, whatever. Uh, and so I don't think I have anything in this little compartment, but you can put, like, money, whatever. And then here, 
I just have all of my cleaning supplies. So I have these Polaroid lens cleaning tissues, this little like brush, whatever. I'm trying to clean like the lens, sensor, whatever. This little spray, these little cotton swabs, and this um, Polaroid. It's like you can set it up your Bluetooth to your camera, and then when you press this, it takes a picture, which is nice in some situations. Honestly, I don't find myself using it a ton just because I usually have other people take pictures. So, the whole thing that I got for Christmas for my aunt, and under these iPhone clip lenses, it has fisheye, macro, and wide angle, which I think are super cool. And so, I used them a few times, and I honestly really, really like them, but I just kept them in here because I feel like this is like the most time when I use them for like camera sort of things. And then I just have the little manuals for my 8 man and my Canon. Just in case, I feel like, again, it's just better to have them than not have them if something is, like, going wrong. Especially when you're traveling and you don't have, like, the ability to just, like, get it. And then this is one of the greatest GoPro accessories ever. It basically is just, like, a floating handle. So when I went to Costa Rica, I used this all the time because we, like, jumped off boats and waterfalls and all this crazy stuff. And so, basically, if the GoPro is, like, the GoPro will be sinking down, but then this is just a floating handle, so it's bright yellow, so you'll be able to see it. And it also came with a little, like, wristband thing, which I currently don't know where it is. But basically, you just hook this up to the GoPro, and it's just, like, a lifesaver if you're in water. GoPro head strap, which I don't, I was going to use it for, um, zip lining when we went, but I just, like, there was already a mount, like, thing onto the helmet anyway, so... And then I just have a little selfie stick, but it's not actually for my GoPro, I don't think. I'm pretty sure it's like bigger cameras, but I'd be terrified to actually put like my big camera on this. But, um, I don't know, I just feel like it could be necessary. But a chest strap, which I used a lot when I was like jumping, um, again, like the waterfalls, whatever. It just was nice because I didn't have to worry about it. So yeah, that was all of my camera like accessories, and then I guess my GoPro was my camera. And then my main camera that I'm using, I'm actually using a Nikon camera to shoot this, which I've never done before. Um, and I probably won't do very often just because I'm so much more familiar with my camera right here. So this is the Canon EOS Rebel T5i. I love this. I did a lot of research and I feel like that this was one of the best options. There's like a little fuzzy. All right. Um, and it comes with the 18 to 55 millimeter lens, which is pretty basic and standard. So yeah, I honestly really love this camera. The lens works for me and it's kind of nice to have a little bit of zoom, but it's not like too much. Um, and I also picked it because it has a flip-out screen. This Canon, or the Nikon one that I'm using right now, does not have a flip-out screen, which is definitely really annoying. So this is just really nice that it has that. It also has autofocus, and it is touchscreen, which is so, so nice. I'm obsessed with this camera, and I've just had it for a really long time, so I really know how to use it. And then I just have, like I said, the Canon strap on it. And yeah, I just put that right here. An inside thing, I just feel like it's the most protected if it was somehow like to be dropped or anything. That like, this is like the most protected thing. And it has these nice little red like cushions, so I feel like it would soften the blow. But yeah, that is about all that is in my camera bag. And, but I honestly just love this. It's so nice. It's just like not too big, but pretty big. It's perfect for travel. And it just has enough space for everything that I need and everything I would want. It's just a great great bag and this is my first ever like techie video I guess so I don't even know if you guys liked it or anything but hopefully you did um, I definitely liked filming it and I love like watching these videos so yeah um thank you guys for watching I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video subscribe and like if you want to comment if you want or have any ideas suggestions whatever love you guys the moon and back bye